Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. Mozilla has just released a new version of Firefox Mobile Beta 4. There's a lot of speed and stability improvements, and in this video, we're going to talk about all of them. Let's get to it. Alright, so we'll put a link up in the description on how to get this free browser. And let's go into Firefox Mobile here and talk about how it fares overall as a web browser, then we're going to get into some of the advanced features that makes Firefox Mobile unique. So of course, in Firefox Mobile, you have tab browsing accessible with a swipe to the right. And this is one of the best features because it allows for super fast uh, tab management. So we can just bounce between these websites. It handles multiple websites loaded in tabs very, very well. So here we have a page. Let's just take a look at how it does with panning and scrolling. So we have Gizmodo. Let's flick down the page quickly and see if we get any checkerboard. No checkerboard, but we do get a blank spot. Firefox Mobile oftentimes has trouble keeping up. But if you move a little bit more slowly, it's just fine. And it does have multi-touch support, so you can pinch to zoom in. You can double tap to reflow a column in and out. Looks quite good. Let's load up a page and see how long it takes. You'll find that Firefox Mobile isn't as fast as the stock Froyo browser yet, but it's definitely quite usable and quite fast overall. So here it's loading. Probably going to take about 15 seconds, maybe a little bit less. And here we have some flash video, and it says, click here to download plugin. Curious to see what happens if you actually do that, because Firefox Mobile does have extensions. Looks like nothing's going to happen. Fair enough. Okay, so that's tabbed browsing. It works extremely well, and it's more stable than ever here in the latest version of Firefox Mobile. So let's talk about some of the other stuff. Let's go to another web page. Let's go to Google. When you tap the address bar, you get a lot of cool options. Starting on the left, it shows you all pages. So this will query um, recent pages that you've gone to. To the right, you have bookmarks, so you don't even have to dial into a separate screen. It's all within this one interface when you tap on the address bar. Very handy. If you go to history, you can quickly dial down by your history. And this is super cool. You can't see it because it's shaded out, but desktop. So this will actually look at the pages that you've recently looked at on your desktop if you've got Firefox Sync set up. That's one of the best features of Mozilla Firefox Mobile is that you can sync up passwords, bookmarks, and history with your desktop computer and your phone. Super cool if you are a Firefox user. So instead, we're going to go out of here and talk about some of the settings. And here's, on, here's Google. To get to the settings, we swipe to the left. And then we get over here, bookmark icon, and down here is settings. So let's dial into that. We've got four tabs along the top about Firefox language. Here's the sync settings. So if you are using Firefox sync on your desktop, you plug in your account name, password, and sync key. And within seconds, you've got all of your data on your phone synchronized at all times. Really cool feature. If you use Firefox, show images, enable JavaScript. To the right, we have a download manager. To the right, we have add-ons. So just like Firefox for the desktop, you can get add-ons and extensions for Firefox Mobile. Now, in the past, there haven't been that many add-ons and extensions. Many of them didn't work, but the library is growing. Let me show you. So down here, we go to Go to Page, and we can browse the extensions and take a look at what's available for Firefox for Mobile. OK, so here we are. This is actually a special site. You can visit this site on your desktop computer if you want to get a sense on a big screen for what is out there. So here are a bunch of different items that you can download. Let's go to the categories and drill into a category and actually install a plugin. So I'm going to go to performance. OK, so here's a bunch of plugins. Saw one pretty cool over here uh, that would be fun to download called Hold for tab. So this will allow you to open up a page in a new tab. I've yet to install it, so you're going to see it live here. Um, if you want to open up a page in a new tab, you tap and hold on a link. Pretty handy to have, especially with this awesome tabbed browsing. That's actually kind of one of the annoyances of Firefox for mobile, is that you may accidentally bring open the tab drawer uh, without meaning to. So we'll go to Add to Mobile. You click that button. It says this add-on has not been updated to this version, so I'm going to click Install anyway and see if it works. So it's going to proceed to download. You get a notification up here in the tray. It says, hold for tab could not be installed because it's not, it doesn't work for this particular version. So let's try again with another plugin and see if we can get something else to work. We have URL fixer, low quality flash, ad block, no script. Some weird behavior, the page is flicking in and out. Tabs utility, hold for tab, lazy click.
Let's do this one, find in page. That looks really handy to be able to search for text within a page. Maybe this one will work. All right, zoom in here. Add to mobile. Yeah, it probably won't work here. A lot of these haven't been updated for the fourth beta yet, uh, so they're probably not going to work. But let's try this and see if it works. Finding page cannot be installed because it's not available for this version. So you get the point. There are a lot of add-ons right now. They just need to be updated for the new version of Firefox so that when they are updated, you'll be able to access them here through the add-on manager. And presumably, there will be a lot of really creative ways to plug into this mobile experience through add-ons, which will be great. And finally, over here on the right is beta tester tools. So you can get feedback. You can learn more about this beta. You can see the particular build here. It's 4.0b2. And force add-ons compatibility. That may actually be something that we could check and maybe get uh, the, the add-ons to work. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so we're back here and let's try fastest scroll. Um, we've added the force add-ons to work option here in, in, in Firefox Mobile. Maybe this will allow us to check out this particular plugin here. Okay, so I'm confirming here that it is installed here. Fastest scroll in the West, not in the world. So we're loading Gizmodo here. We're going to see if we can flick really quickly down the page with this new extension add-on for Mozilla Mobile. So here we go. Seems to be... Okay, it's done loading. So let's see if we can get down to the page really quickly. So I'm going to flick really fast, and it's going to clear up. And we're actually at the bottom of the page already, so the extension works. Pretty neat to be able to add extensions to Mozilla Firefox Mobile Beta 4. So again, we'll put a link up in the description on how to get this for your Android. It's almost good enough to use as your daily browser. It has awesome tab management. It works with Firefox Sync, and of course, you can add extensions to your mobile browser, which is awesome. Please thumbs up this video if you liked it, and thanks for watching. That's it for now.